Poppy, I'm from England, and welcome to the Sussex family. from Sussex County Community College. I was in the Atlanta soccer team for two years. Um, I remember the first time that I came up to Sussex uh, was actually because my cousin, Kevin Sally, was, um, he played a year here and he was talking about the soccer team and how great it was, how it felt like a family. And I thought to myself, oh my God, like, I don't want to say that my cousin is bad at playing soccer, but if he's playing, uh, I want to try myself too. So I kind of, I kind of took a little sacrifice out of everything that I already had set up with work and my life. And I decided to come up to Sussex and I remember the first time that I came was for uh, Fernando practice and Carmine was here and Josh was here. We had a bunch of the Australian guys just messing around and the welcoming that they gave me was like, it was, it was very genuine. There was nothing forced about it. Um, so ever since the first day, Sussex was kind of like a family away from family. So coming back to Sussex was kind of like a stepping stone for me to just um, wake up my soccer career again. Um, from playing here two years, some of the memories that I have here, I always think about it. Um, I always think of Sussex as a home, away from home. So after, what, four years, I'm coming home and I'm pretty excited to do it. Um, I think it's gonna be a good uh, transition for me uh, moving on, which is it's great. I think I think what stuck with me the most, not just with soccer, but my life in general is uh, my why. Uh, that is something that Frank always stressed about ever since the first day of preseason before we started doing uh, the hill. Um, he's just, he dug deeper than any other coach has before. That's something that lives with me every day. And there's not a lot of people that can make an impact on you for like a long time. And I think Frank is one of those people that once he gets to you, he, he gets to you. And he's not just a coach, he, he's a good friend. He helps you with anything you can. I think what I miss the most about Sussex is just like that family feeling. Um, I, wasn't ever, I wasn't able to get that back anywhere else I went. Um, playing like semi-pro leagues, college. Anywhere, anywhere I go, it's uh, it's it's not Sussex. It really did all start with Sussex. If Sussex didn't give me, didn't take that risk on me, and sort of give me possibly a second chance at having something like this, then I wouldn't be where I am for sure. Obviously, there's other things that played a part, but I think Sussex was the foundation that gave me the the confidence and the strength and the the knowledge to know that I could go somewhere and do something with the sport I love, so. It's led me now to, I applied for some trials overseas and next month I'm gonna be taking part in some professional trials in Asia to try and get a contract with someone. Playing for Sussex was definitely probably the, the best decision that I've made and I guess just being a part of that whole team and foundation and family is just the pinnacle of Sussex and I guess my time that I spent over in America so it was a great honour. It was my second year there so I was a sophomore 
and we were playing CCM, who was our rivals, and we were up 2-0 at half time, then they came back to equalise at a 2-2, so we went to overtime, and then in the, uh, there was 22 seconds left in the second half of overtime, and I scored to win it, and that was definitely probably the highlight. Uh, whilst playing, I felt really proud to be wearing Sussex and wearing Sussex colours and it was great that it was blue or white because that's really the, the Sussex colours and what you see all over the school. And now after Sussex, I only wear my Sussex stuff to the gym because it just makes me feel proud and when people see my shirt and say, oh, it, was that your school? I was like, yes, I played at Sussex County Community College and they're like, where's that? Um, North New Jersey, go look it up. We are region champs, baby. <laughs> So I came to visit here and we drove out in the snow and we got lost because I didn't have Wi-Fi on my phone and we came here and all I could we, all I could remember was like the big farms with the stylos and it was so like American. I, the only other place I'd been to was Miami so like I saw like American farms and the snow it was like six feet of snow on the side of the road. I was like I love the snow. <laughs> And then I went to visit, we visited Mike and Frank and also Juan who was the women's coach my first year and it just, it already felt like family and it felt like they really wanted me and I feel like that's what I needed. I needed to feel safe, I needed to feel like it was a community and it just, it felt right. I was ready to sign my papers right then because it just, it, it felt like I could stay there for a long time. We had like a really funny game where you had to put your headphones on so no one else could hear the music and the person with the headphones had to sing the song with no music and it was just the funniest thing ever. I feel like going to and from games was so much fun because we really were like a family, we were all sisters and most of us still talk to each other now. We're all really, really good friends. Like I have best friends here. Back in England, I really don't have anyone I talk to anymore. It's literally just everyone that I played with at Sussex. We really were a family and it made the best memories, especially like living together as well, like driving up to practice. We were with, to get, we were with everyone 24 seven and that just made it so much better. And I know people that have like gone to big colleges and they don't really know a lot of other people except from their roommates. Whereas here, everyone was friends. We all hung out after, after practices at lunch times. It was a real family and a really great community. I, I feel like I speak for everyone when I say everyone wishes this was a four year school because they have such a great experience and the school that I moved on to, it was, it was so much less compared to Sussex. So just don't take anything for granted and work hard because your time will go very quickly. The time just flies so fast. I feel like when, when you leave, you never really leave Sussex. You're always part of the Sussex family. Like I already have plans to come watch a game and I'm, I'm really upset that I'm three hours away so I can't come up more because I would come up and practice with the new gals and really get to know everyone. Because no matter where you go, if you go back to England, back to Australia, Colombia, wherever you're from, you never leave the Sussex family. You will always be known there. And if you've been gone for three, four years and you walk back into the Sussex halls and the Sussex offices, you'll always be part of the family and you'll always be greeted with a smile as if you never left. It really is a great community and I wish that I could go back and do it all again over and over because it's just so much fun and the best experience I've ever had. <laughs>